afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with the Stock Swoosh Show, and I'm here today to review the close of the market from Friday. I did think the market would make a new high on Friday. For all intents and purposes, it, it basically did. I wanted to talk about two things in this video today. One thing I want to mention is something that I saw really important. I just looked at the market a few minutes ago and saw something that I wanted to put in a video, so I remember that I saw it today and I remind myself of the date. I've been doing videos even to go back and remember what I see myself in some of these market calls I've made because I've made so many. It's been going on now for years and I've been doing it very accurately. Let's first go over this. One of my students actually emailed me and said it didn't make a new high. It is very important to remember that support and resistance are areas. This counts, okay? This counts here as a retest. This counts. Am I very exact with numbers? Yes. I am a very exact person with numbers. I write down numbers within pennies. You know, I don't write within one hundredths of the number, but I do write within penny. Like if the number is 0 .05, I will write that down. I don't write down 0 .05 and two eighths. But I am, I am the most accurate, exact, specific person that I know in the way that I determine not only what stock I trade, but also the numbers of the targets, support and resistance and entries for the trades that I take and what I analyze, which is why I'm a great trader and also make a great mentor to learn from. But one of the things I have to point out to the student and to everyone that watches my videos and every student that I have is that this counts, okay? I said it on an email a week ago as a trader, you live in the gray area. You are black and white, you have 100% conviction, you go into the trade and you take it. But you don't not see what is reality when you're living in the moment, live time, when something's trading. Okay. So for example, let's just say you were in the market and you were law in the market and you're, you, the target really was 109. That was the target for Friday for the market and it got there. You wouldn't stay in this at the time of the day that this made this number to try to get it up for 15 more cents or 20 more cents. Again, this is an area. You have to look at it in live time. You're long, you're up. It had a good risk to reward from where I called it. It's at the first target, time of the day, out. This counts as a retest of the high in here. Could we have gotten over it? Yes. Did we know to the penny? We didn't, but this counts. And, and we will get over the high. We will actually get over the high and make a new high. And we could have done it Friday. We were setting up to do it. But it was Friday, Friday afternoon, and the market just flat out ran out of energy. But this was an amazing gap that held most of the day. This only happened here in the last 45 minutes of the day. This is profit taking in here. So the market held all day. And in the last 45 minutes, just had a little teeny weeny sell-off. That's it. There's nothing bearish about this. And this continued. This held. This did what it was supposed to do. And ran out of energy 45 minutes into the close on a Friday at the end of a week. Again, this is about doing things that make sense, common sense. This counts. And if some someone is short the market and seeing this and, and, and puts a blindfold on and says, I'm not getting out because it didn't actually go over the high, to the exact number, that to me is not trading with common sense. You have to trade in the gray area. You have the exact numbers. You have absolutely everything figured out exact. But then you have to trade live and see things in live time. And the goal is to make money and to see things for how they really, really act. Because you can have everything pre-planned out to the exact one one hundredths, one one thousandths of a number. But it may not go there exactly to the number, but close enough why? Because the market's alive, because people are trading it, and support and resistance are areas. And not only that, a lot of people are trading in it, okay? So the market held the uptrend on Friday. I don't know where we go on Monday morning, tomorrow morning, because I don't know where we're going to gap. I don't know if we'll gap up or down or neutral. I have no idea. And I read gaps to determine directional bias for the day and in the long-term uptrend. So I don't know the directional bias of Monday until I see how we gap in the morning. However, I can see that we are still higher and we will make a new high. And depending on how we gap and trade out Monday and Tuesday, we'll determine if we do it full on this week, this coming week. But I, you know, 
it, it looks like we're setting up to close March at this point when we still have you know eight days left in the month but really only seven trading days left we could close very strong so one of the things that I noticed when I looked at this because I was updating the trends class which is Tuesday and Wednesday of this week and I talk about the market in the trends class and actually the first time I wrote the trends class was 2013 so it's 2015 I do update that class all the time because I talk about trends and I ha review certain things in the class and the markets one of them the QQQs is one of them but I looked at seriously looked at the market like in a way that I hadn't actually since the end of last year I hadn't really seriously seriously looked at the market yet this year in 2015 but I seriously 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 looked at the market today updating the trends class because some people had asked me when what I say the market had turned bearish because I, I hadn't said this all along in here and because it, it wasn't and we made a new high and I'm going to review that in the trends class this week for the people that signed up for the class that paid for it, that are taking it I'm going to go over it in detail Tuesday and Wednesday in that class however something just came as soon as I looked at the chart seriously for the market I looked at both the SPY and the QQQs and I don't know how it all actually pans out because it's only March 2015 however I'm calling the market to continue bullish all this year but I saw something in the chart that told me that the market could continue bullishly for a few years actually and I didn't ever see that until today it depends there's just this is so far off this is just so far off for me to even know exactly because I cannot predict when the market will change the trend until I see it but I did see today something in the chart and the analysis that I used to determine trends that I realized that it actually could be years that this market could continue in a bullish uptrend. I only saw that for the first time today. I knew and know and have 100% conviction we're bullish all this year of 2015. That I know. And I'm reading it well and it's just continuing and we're going to continue higher this year. We're going to have a really, really big year this year. But I actually see that there's a possibility it could really carry over into 2016 and I just saw something in the chart that made me realize that this actually could continue for a few years. And I, I that's that's all that I'm gonna say. I'm just I'm just saying exactly what I see when I looked at the chart and I looked at some very, very serious things here in this chart and I I'm I'm taping this video for myself just as much as everyone listened to it because today's March twenty second and it's the first time that I really seriously looked at the market this year in two thousand fifteen. And the first thing I saw when I seriously looked at my analysis was the fact that this bullish market could actually continue for several years past this year and boy is that really going to surprise people for so many reasons one because people think the market's going to crash now they thought it was going to crash last year and they think it's going to crash this year and they still really think it's going to crash um, people keep seeing how the market has rallied here and how it's been so strong and people just can't think think it's just people think it's just not going to last but I saw something today that made me realize that this could actually last for a few more years and I don't know any more than that I know for sure this year but I saw something in the chart today and I'm gonna review it in the trends class for those of you that are taking it Tuesday and Wednesday that it was very specific that made me realize that this market could actually continue for several years bullishly that is really amazing that I what I saw It's just really amazing that I saw and boy is that gonna that going to be surprising to people. This is the first time I ever saw that. Just like I saw what I saw in October of 2014, that the market would continue higher when I saw it in this gap here. And I saw something today that made me realize that this could continue for a few more years. And that's all that I know right now. And I'm just going to look at it more seriously. I have time sometimes in a weekend to look at the market. I see things sometimes so clear looking at the market on a weekend. 
that's where I've seen some of these things I've seen actually just looking at the flat market but when I'm when I'm in the market live trading my stocks I'm in the market live and then I see how the money's acting but there's something to be said for seeing things in the long term which I do see very clear, clearly I can very clearly predict how, what something's going to happen before it does it. I mean, I predicted this move here in the Fed on Wednesday, this rally over the high, the follow through over this area, that this wasn't anything that was going to break the chart. This drop off here that happened, we reversed lickety split. So I wanted to notate it in a video because I saw today that there is a possibility and I don't know any specifics other than just what I'm saying right now that this bullish market will continue 2015 barring unforeseen circumstances like world calamities I must put that out there but I saw the possibility and it's very probable what I see in the chart that this market could continue for this bullish market the rally the continued continued rally the continued lift could continue past 2015, which I didn't see until today and could continue for several years. How long, I don't know. I mean, this is just, I don't want to start really calling things so far out, but I just saw today and I, the first thing I thought was, oh my gosh, this could continue for years. And I really seriously looked at everything that I know. So I thought it was noteworthy for people that watch my videos and study with me. And we're going to go over it in detail in the trends class this week. And if you still want to sign up for that class, the deadline's tomorrow, Monday, March 23rd. And if you want to do the next one, I don't know when the next one is, but I always go over the market and the trends class, and it's been very interesting to review. I've been incredibly accurate with it as well. If anyone has anything to comment on or wants any more information about the trends class or the Golden Gap class, feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone. This is a QQQ market review of the stock swoosh. And I don't know what we do this week exactly until I see how we get and start off the week on Monday. Monday is usually the slowest trading day of the week. But we'll have to see where we gap in the pre-market tomorrow. And then I'll know from there if we're going to be able to make a new high this week or not or before the end of the month. Have a great day, everyone.